I've been privileged to sit with a lot of people in the hospital to pray with people who are close to death. And when they're alone and really feel that they have the freedom to talk, uh, they'll say that the thing that's most important in life was the people that they loved and the people who love them. Nobody ever says, I should have worked more. Nobody ever says, I'm so glad I held a grudge. Nobody ever says, my life was worth it because I hated so-and-so. Yet we allow so many of these other things to take precedent. We allow other things to get in there where, where we're making a decision about people. What I think is so is that we love some of the people some of the time, and we're working toward loving more of the people more of the time. But you can't love and judge somebody. One cancels out the other, I think. There's no, I love you, but. So how can we just love people with all the things that they say and do? People are complicated, aren't they? They're messy, and they're difficult, and they're absolutely worth the effort. You know, we often chant, God's the love that I am. We just love people because it's true to our nature to do so. We don't love people because of who they are. We love them because of who we are. And if you're not doing very good with this, you ask God for help. And I have often been that person who says, God, I'm really having a hard time loving these people. I don't think I can do it, but I know you can do it through me. So God, I want you to start loving them through me, and I promise I'll catch up. All right? Because I think that divine aspect within each of us has that capacity. 